Hey yo together and very welcome to the Starcraft 2 Crazy Replays today on Coda Letter Edition against uh, with a TVC, yeah. And Woo! This one <laughs> should be a good one. You remember? The guy spawning in the right bottom position, playing as the red Zerg, it's Colibri. He's still Grandmaster when we played that game. And he's playing against me, the blue Terran spawning in the left top position, it's Alex Usher. Very good, so yeah. Again, this guy, he's still GM, he's still very powerful, and quite some talented guy. Oh wow. Okay. We have so far nothing special happening. Uh, there are four to five more games I have to cast. And I hope I get them done before the patch goes online. And then we will see how that goes. So currently we have barracks into refinery. Quite typical standard stuff. And it looks like Colibri this time not going for the super aggression. Uh, maybe. Uh, okay, so pool first. But it doesn't need to be aggression. Mm, not necessarily. Uh, he could also just go for six circlings, try to get a cancel with a slow circlings. This can work as well. You don't need to commit to speedlings. And you can be fine with that. So here we have the drone moving down for the hatchery and I guess it's good to go pool first on that map because of this cliff here 888 Reaper can be very powerful you, you see the overlord here yeah the barracks placed there already could be very disastrous or maybe a, a 1111 at the third natural here or maybe there it's it's difficult right a uh, lot of possibilities for the Terran to be aggressive early on so we will see if I'm going for one Reaper or two Reaper. Uh, it looks like ah, only one Reaper. Okay, there we go. And yeah, he sees the reactor, knows it's only one Reaper. Uh, two circlings. Um, did the extractor trick? Nice. And yeah, soon we should see a command center going down. There we go. Nice, so the Reaper will scout, the hatchery is a bit delayed, it's not ready, so I know, haha. <laughs> CC on the high ground, I'm fine. Ah, oh, there are some cir look at that. Look at those circlings, oh my goodness. But I scouted everything. Mm, I see that he's mining gas. For now, I don't see the speed being reset. Oh, I need to be so careful with the Reaper. Eh, it does escape. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if I, if I scouted the speed being researched, but what I should do of course, later on, <coughs> five minutes, go in again. And there's no queen yet on the natural, so this reaper can regenerate. Uh, it could also harass this drone. But for me it's more important to check, is he mining still gas? Is he still producing <coughs> the speed upgrade? And yes he is, and this time the circling's out of position. Oh my goodness. And the reaper escapes, so that's fine. Being a bit annoying with the queens. Uh, yeah, this queen already banked up a lot of energy, so yeah, the injects are fine. Should maybe plant on a creep tumor ASAP. Come on, you can do it. And here we see, yeah, second factory because of the gas uh, opening out of Colibri. I know exactly, okay, I can go for, for this kind of style. I have the marines on patrol command. Oh, it looks like I'm trying to kill this overlord, but that's so close, that's, that's not gonna happen. No way. And now I will show four marines and yeah, the overlord is safe here. Don't kill it. Not for now. So now he's getting the creep tumor. He could have gotten it earlier, way earlier. <clears throat> but he's going for the roach one here. So yeah, roaches are quite good against hellions. They are also quite reasonable against hellbats. So he should be fine uh, with getting some roaches. So the, the hatchery sure is a minute delayed to the normal timing, like 6 minutes or 6.20, but it's okay. 
it's the more safer approach and you don't fall too far behind. Getting the second gas, throwing down the layers, uh, starting the layers, so that, that's fine. He sees four Hellions and... Oh, yeah, this this Overlord could see the move out, so that... Ah, uh, the Creep Pumas get killed both. Yep, so... That's good. Now I see the Roaches. And now I have to make a decision. Do I go for it or not? Uh, do I try to sneak in later on with the Hellions and try to lure the Roaches out? And try to kill something? But he got Speedlings, so... That's a bit difficult here. Uh, if I could get a creep tumor, that would be huge again, but not gonna happen. And for now, I'm still producing Hellions. The problem is this Overlord spots everything. So he knows exactly, wait a second, those are Hell Marines? Wait. And if he's smart, he will just produce a bunch of roaches now. Maybe he'll throw down a spine crawler and be completely safe. Yeah, there you go. Uh, throwing down a spine. And he will be fine. Uh, he might lose that Overlord. Maybe not. And uh, yeah, this attack won't do too much here, I, I feel. Mm, uh, yeah, I'm delaying creep a little bit, but that's that's not that big of a deal, to be honest. So here we are, moving into that base. Spine crawler not ready. Uh actually this could deal a lot of damage. So the circlings get the wraparound on the marines, which is really nice. But he loses three queens in already? No, just two so far. Um yeah. Losing another roach there. The spine crawler did finish. So overall, quite equally traded. But I might lose some marines here. The roaches. Oh no, they are as fast as the marines. So mm, yeah, it's okay. I forced out a spine. Uh, the third base is okay. Is there in in the wall? That's nice. But drone wise, he's ahead. So that's that's okay. His upgrades are also on time. Mm, and there's a counter attack coming. Oh, all those marines, so unlucky. So yeah, I killed the I killed the queen. So his inject. There's one inject missing at the natural, which uh, at the third base. That's that's good for me, but not the most important damage now. Uh, there are the roaches. He might go in. It's it's very difficult for him to to go into that. Uh, yeah, he will. Uh, yeah, kill a Hellbat, kill the Depot, but he's not finding much damage there. I don't think he should commit to this. Although, this position is really good for him. And now he's going into that and there is no way he, he, he deals real damage. So he backs off. <clears throat> In total, yeah, was nice. Uh, forced a bunker, a bit of lost mining time. Killed one, two Hellbats more. That's, that's reasonable, but well, yeah. Did I just cancel the... Yeah, it looks like I cancelled the tank. So here we have the Spire, the Baneling Nest. Did I see the Baneling Nest? No! Haha, <laughs> so that's risky. Just blindly going for the Widowman's Intent. And I'm so heavily supply cat. I should call down supply. But I can't currently... Ooh, those <coughs> roaches. I have to run. So I will be able to secure my third base. He is securing his fourth base. Even droning up. A little bit harder, so 72 drones, really nice. And uh, Mutalex are on the way. 1-1 one, one will finish. This time I get combat shields, which is really helpful. So yeah, let's see. Uh, this wall is really strange, but if it holds strong, that's fine. Uh, but as you can see, my production is quite delayed. A lot. Uh, the barracks are just now finishing. Uh, the upgrades, well, yeah, but it's not the best. Thing. Those Hellions could deal a lot of damage, but you will see how much. There's a spine crawler. A lot of drones at that third base. And the roaches and speedlings are out of position. Uh, first of all, scouting for that base. Oh, attacking there was a bit mistake. So I might get a queen. Which is good, but most likely I'm just losing a bunch of Hellions there. Yeah, that's. That's a good wrap around. Clear set with ease, and I'm quite far behind, I would say. Uh, worker wise, I'm okay. 66 would be ideal for me, so I will reach that point soon. I'm getting the turrets. Yep. And 2 2 is on the way as well, which is quite good. But. Oh, a Thor on the way. Okay. I could. Normally, I would throw down a third base now and three more factories, uh, barracks. 
And one more factory, but I got the second one already, so you can scratch that. Uh, yeah, the Banelings, they do have speed. 2-2 two is on the way for Colibri, so that's good. He's taking out those Debris. They're just opening another path. That's also really helpful. Mm, oh, I like that. Bunker, Widowmine, Turret, so this is quite safe. Uh, the gas is okay, I don't need that much gas uh, with Bio, Medivac, Thor. So I guess I'm okay with that saturation. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's, it's Five gases completely on time <clears throat> would be ideal, but that's, that's okay. I can work with that. 68 SCVs, which is fine. Mm, I guess he will wait for 2-2. I would love him being more active with the Mutalist, so, but that's fine. My medivacs are super late, to be honest. Uh, the Overlord spread, not the best one. Ooh, might lose a queen here. And one Overlord. I'm not sure if he wants to attack there. There are Widow Mines. There are Widow Mines! Uh, he goes in, the Widow Mines not getting the best connect. And, oh, that was a very good connect there. Ooh, wow. So the Thor... Oh, it dies because there were marines in this medivac. Ah, uh, he clears the medivacs. Ooh, that's not looking good. This counter attack. Oh, uh, there are banelings and roaches. They won't find much damage there, no. Ooh. So completely shuts down any aggression. He's 50 supply ahead. Uh, his APM are currently quite good. APM wise, not the highest, but that's fine. And he's getting hive. Oh, wow. Hive already. And normally you wanna... <clears throat> Try to prevent that from happening as a turn. So you can have 3-3 three, three against 2-2 two, two and no Ultralists. And then you can trade very, very good. But I was so far behind with my Medivac, so I never <coughs> applied any pressure to him. He was able to drone up like he wanted to. Ooh, Spinecrawler are going down here. That's really good. Taking a fifth base. Sure, why not? For the larva. He got the money. You see, he got the money. Uh, with the Overlord, he sees the Medivac. So all this Medivac does is giving me some time. Ah, boosts. Okay, but this won't do any damage, right? Most likely not. Maybe I get a Mutalist or two. Ah, one Mutalist goes down. But that's all I got. <coughs> oh, that's that's a fortified position here. Mm, but my army is so so small. His as well. Oh wow. So he's getting Corruptor. Ah, I see. So after the plus two, I guess he's going for the Greater Spire. Could be the case. Hmm. Ah, but this attack looks very scary. Because there's not much for me. There isn't much for me. Interestingly, I've got another factory, so I can play Pulse style. Uh, three factory Widow Mine. Ah, the Widow Mines! Ooh, those are good ones. Ah, he exploded them uh, manually to clear the Widowmines. That was a good one. Gets a wrapper on the Thor. Widowmines reasonable connects, but this attack now, this will deal real damage. So, will he turn back? Yeah, he has to turn back. He has to defend because that's a huge force. 2-2 two, two bio. Soon 3-3. Three, three. 88 more links in production. That's huge, but a lot of drones might fall here. Or maybe not. I'm just trading away. A little bit, not focus firing the hatchery either, so uh, try to split the moon a little bit to get as many bank connects out as possible, but uh, good hold. Uh, he's down to 66 drones now, so but he's already producing 11 more. So many circlings and 3-3 three, three on the way. Oh, those spine crawler really helping out. The Widow Mines, so with the speed upgrade. Whoa, oh, that shot! Wow, that was that was huge. So many Widow Mines, so he's those, ooh, all those paints, good connections, <laughs> the Marauder tanks so much there. Uh, there's more to come. I would love to see Medivax here to pick up the Thor and evacuate. Uh, all the Banes into the Thor, that's not good. Oh, the Widow Mines, how many are there? Haha, oh. <laughs> 19 Widow Mines! And the Thor, with 10 HP, survives. 10 kills on that bad guy. Uh, all his circlings died, so he might lose the space. It's looking quite grim. 3-3 three, three, finish. So this can deal a lot of damage here. And uh, yeah, there are the circlings. Widowmines, so many Widowmines. Look at that. Marching forward, getting the connects. Uh, the Thor falls finally. But all those Widowmines get a new charge. And um, yeah, I guess he will lose that base. Brutlords are morphing. But will they be in time? So, oh, the Widowmines! Mm, not the best connect so far. It clears a lot of them. How many Widowmines died so far? 22. 
And there are just 12 left. <laughs> just 12, low. Uh, 12 left. Uh, no drops either, but... Yeah, his larva is quite low. Just 18. He goes in. The Widow Mines. I mean, he trades okay, but... Overall, not too good. As you can see. It's, it's fine. Oh, the Broodlord. The Widow Mines. Burrowing underneath the Broodlord. And getting some connects. Okay, that was focus fire. The problem is all those Widow Mines have no charge left. The Marines, not really helpful against those Broodlord numbers. Now uh, this Widow Mine Burrows will get a shot off. Oh, on the Broodlings. And now he can clear all the Widow Mines. So Broodlords actually count the Widow Mines. Uh, we have one Starport just here. And no additional Starport so far. Uh, I, try, I seem to try to lure him away with another counterattack, but this base isn't that important. He got the gas, he got the bank. Uh, what I really need are more Vikings. There are no Mutalists left on that map, uh, just 7, which is not a whole lot. And 3-3 three, three Bio with Medivacs can trade against 2-2 two, two Serpings for a long time, but now out in the open, with the help of the Mutalist, mm, he will clear that one. Mm, Banelings are marching in, not gonna connect very wisely, the Medivacs might fall. Boosting away, but will be chased by the Mutalist. Yeah, that's... Not gonna happen. One Medivac might escape. Oh, yeah, and he loses all his Mutalists there. Look at that. Ah, Not paying attention as there is a small run by. Uh, trying to kill those hatcheries, which is not gonna happen. Uh, he's oversaturated at that base. Yeah, now he fixes it. <laughs> can't, can't place there. Okay. So, uh, finally another Starport went down. Where is this? Oh, two more Starports. So, I can crank out enough Vikings to deal with the Bootlord. He still got the gas to go for some Mutalis or Corruptor. But I think Ultralis are just a bit stronger. So now I'm positioning myself here at that side. Clearing creep again. Uh, the Widow Mines getting okay shots off, not the best ones. Oh, that one was really good. So he has to pull back and let the Bootlord do its work. The problem though is, uh, where are the Vikings? Yeah, there are the Vikings taking out all those brute lords. Mm, and then I can stim forward. Because there is not much to contest. You got some banelings left, but not too many, just 12. The splits are not too good here, but quite okay. Where are the medivacs? I really need more medivacs. There we go. There's a counter attack. Ooh, taking out that base. It looks like. Oh, look at the supply! Somehow. The game slipped completely away. Uh, there are more and more Widow Mines. So we are back on 17 Widow Mines again. Uh, the Medivax will be chased down there. There's a Thor. Can't contest that. And there we go. GG. So Broodlord's not the answer. Uh, there was a timing here. Where he could have attacked, but he turned back because of the huge counter attack. And, whew, difficult. His, his macro was... I mean, you... you I can't say his macro was not good, um, but he never had a bank. He was on 3-3, but I guess his injects weren't the best. Yeah, look at the queens, that's that's the problem. He never had really the larva to outproduce me. I guess. Maybe the Widow Mines just killed him. That's, that's Polt style. Polt played, uh, I guess, two, uh, 2013. A lot with uh, three factory style, and it's super strong. It's super strong. Uh, it might delay your three three depending on how you trade, because widow mines. Yes, they are cheap, but if you mass them, uh, it, it's getting expensive a little bit. Out of three base, out of four base, you can do it. It's possible. So yeah, widow mines, man, they are really good. They are really really good. Okay, some more games will be casted. So, look forward to them. Hopefully we see us next time. As always, thank you for watching. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.